Hi guys, it's your boy King Kayan, and I want to be talking about VIP zero or low VIP accounts. So this could be a low investment account. So you could be VIP 12 and have a very low investment account. It's just that you've been investing in, let's say, a diamond Fortnite since the start of the game. So your account just happens to have a VIP 12 stamp. So we're going to be talking about low spending accounts as well. Um, this fits a huge range and it's about just making sure you are doing the best that you can. Now, this strategy is best used from day zero. However, you can adapt it into your play now and you will see benefits. Uh, you might think the benefits you see won't be too much, especially if you're on a, I'd say a double merge, going into a triple merge server, you'll see that you have whales who just constantly outspend. But everything that I do I did it from the start of the game so when you have a solo well you don't have wells competing against each other um, and mostly you have wells who control their spending to help their friend wells because usually you have wells and they're in the same alliance if you get what I mean um, so the guy I want to be talking about who I will be comparing with is Salva now I know what Salva does because I taught Salva what to do. He came to me, he asked me for some information, I gave him the information that I use because he could see that I was using a free-to-play team um, and even though I was spending, I was growing at a much rapider pace than those who were definitely outstripping me for spending. Um, at the start, I always have a bigger investment and as the game goes along, my investment starts to dwindle. Um, it's just because I get mostly what I want from the early game and then I won't invest unless I need something again. So, looking at Salva, we see here he's a VIP too. This is probably a solo recharge. Uh, this server is, well, this merger now, is probably a year old. We've been playing for over a year. Uh, this arena rank of 79. This is pretty good for a VIP two, level 93, who, let's look at it, doesn't get much troop XP. So this is him investing in the right ways, doing his dailies. This is definitely doing dailies every day, making sure he hits those marks and that he can keep his investment going from holding his rank. If we look at his team, we see that he runs a Magic Rush team. I call it Magic Rush team because the majority of the heroes in the team come from the Magic Rush group. So we see here a Merlin. We see the Lotus and we see the Kana. That's the three that he's uh, pushing. We then see a Petra from, I would say, the Horror Story group. And we see a Sebastian. I don't even know what group. I don't use Sebastian much. Um, but I can tell you what his team does. So Merlin here, she does the lifesteal. She gives her team lifesteal and she gives them a boosted ability power boost. So Merlin is a hero we love. Everybody uses her. And this is why she is so vital and why that Magic Rush group is the reason why we will never get the speed up. Um, we then see the Patra. Now Patra in here is for me is she is control slash DPS. So you're looking at Patra's uh, magic resistance drop in, uh, Patra's bug mode, and then you're looking at Patra just dealing out some damage. Now the main dealer here is going to be Lotus. Lotus is going to be for that DPS. She only has that one control skill and the rest is just DPS. So this is Lotus relying on Merlin buffs to keep hitting hard. Um, and that's going to be about it in this team here. Then you have Kana. Kana is in a, I'm going to call it a support DPS role. So Kana is going for boosting her team's health. And then dealing out damage with that Magic Brilliance Awakening, which adds on great attacking strength to that ultimate. Um, then we have Sebastian, who is in a energy gain support role. So this is just Sebastian pushing through everybody else's energy gains, while also putting on a, a time reversal onto someone, maybe a few, and in there for the revive if he can survive. So. This is what Sebastian's role in this team is. Uh, Sebastian, for a free-to-play team, is probably much more vital than people give. Uh, but just because that early speed boost is great, that early energy boost is great, 
and then the awakening with the time vessel just gives your team a bit more output I would say and a bit more durability then if someone drops and Sebastian can get to his ult he he brings them back and then you have another second go so that's his team I know it's magic rush um, it's well built Kana is a really good hero for free to play um, she's not going to give you much in terms of I would say player verse event in terms of Sky City um, Lotus Wheel, Patra Wheel, he probably does all right in his team. He probably gets there like enough that he can get his blue Sky City coins in Spa, but he's definitely most likely working on a marksman team in the background of this. So behind this, so this will be his five main, and then behind this would be a marksman team that he works on as a second. It would not be another magic team. This is probably a team that he will stick to. We see three dots, we see silver stars, and we see a gold star here. So this is probably a late switching for Kana. So we looked at his equipment, we've looked at his lineup, we've seen what his arena rank is. We go over to his codex and we see here, yep, it's what I was talking about. We see an investment in bullet time. So this will be because bullet time is for three of the four sky cities. So this is just smart investment here, pushing this higher, trying to get to that purple. This is better than mine. Um, I would have to say probably better than most people's on the servers. So it's just his smart spending again. And then we see investment into this magic rush. So investment for the Merlin, the Kana and the Lotus, which are the key factors of his team. And we can see he's, he's about to go purple. And for a VIP two to be here, this is really good. We can see very low investment into the the good buddy or the is this eye animal or is this beast the other one i can't remember what it's called i think that's eye animal but we see very low investments into these groups because his team just doesn't have that range so he invests in where he has that range and everything else is it can grow as it grows other than that oh sorry other than that bullet time so moving on what has he done and how am i going to keep these videos interested and show you so i'm going to show you the first one i'm just going to show you the basics of it of what he's done in terms of his spending i'm not going to go into other things like the enhance and the, the shadow essence events but just how he's kept his team controlled and so tight so if we switch over to my next screen we're going to see his equipment share now this is something that i try to teach players um that's really important early game looking for heroes who share equipment it allows for compressed spending and we see on his team we see that in the the white that he has a total of two equipments he has to invest in the green he has three blue one two blue two three purple one four purple two three orange one two and orange two three so this is a great uh, range that I would say he's he's got it almost perfect we're looking at a total share of equipments between the, the five heroes being at two uh, TA have three he has so he has three that the five heroes share hold on three no. let's let me get that right he has three times out of eight equipments the heroes the five heroes share two three times uh when it comes to sharing a total of three equipments they share that four times and then he only has one equipment where heroes don't share at all and he's ended up with a four share so he's got maybe uh the lotus and the sebastian here in the purple one where, what share and everyone else has their own equipment now as you can see this gives him a range of 37.5 percent where he only has to invest in two equipments um, and 50 percent uh, of his equipment he does it three times and then 12.5 for that purple one where he does it four times now if we compare this to mine it's very similar very very similar so for me my white equipment is two uh, my green equipment is two my blue one is three my blue two is three my purple one is two my purple two is two my orange is three and my orange two is three but we can see the kind of numbers that i generate here 
if you look at this really only Kong Ming here doesn't share equipment in the white category with everyone else so this would have been a solo investment in this equipment here and uh, this would have been lucky coin yeah so this would have been lucky coin and um, I raised lucky coin and I got power for four heroes uh, this one would have been the flute I raised the flute and I got power for four heroes so so and this is how this is how I was thinking when I was building can I do a solo investment uh, relax on something else for someone else and still get power as I went into blue one it got a bit harder blue two again it got a bit harder but then in purple one and purple two I saw that investment range coming back and it's what made my team tick from early is that when I was unlocking my equipment other people who had a wider range of equipment were falling very very behind and now if you did this for a team like let's say uh what teams do i see a lot of xerxes brunhild uh pierre uh, lucifer and aurora you'd be seeing that maybe you have a five you have a lot of fours in there the twos wouldn't would probably be non-existent and your investment has to be heavier so you have to spend more so as a VIP zero, what you want is you want minimal spend. So you want this, you want twos or threes. And there's ways to do this. Um, you could do this in horror story. You can do this in, you could do this in bullet time. I've done it in bullet time in Kung Fu, the, in the Kung Fu group that Wes leads. Um, you can do it in, I said horror story. I, I must have said horror story because I love horror story. But yeah, you, you can do this and it's just about smart investing. So this is what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be running a series alongside my uh, team building series where I talk about this. I talk about a bit more in depth about the secrets behind why I build the way I build. And so away from the skills into the equipment. This works the same for talent. Um, I don't have a talent share up I've tried to get one up but when I invest in the heroes I make sure I know let's say my who my alts are and who I'm investing in to make sure that I can push that talent to the max and again I can max out my talent the similar way till I can max out my equipment so guys this is what we're talking about in this new series that I'll be running alongside my my summoner teams and and how to team build series um we're going to be talking about how to invest as a vip zero or a low spend vip player so it doesn't matter if you're vip 15 if you are just spending on that fortnite buys this is going to help you cut some of that distance um probably if you're in a triple merger you're too far ahead a double merger you're getting too far ahead a single merger you can change your style and definitely if you are starting off this will help you massively so guys like and subscribe because this one is the one that is going to change everything for you this is the one that you're going to want to come back and you're going to want to see because I do a whole lot more I do I do it with the get more I do it with the enhance I do it with collecting B souls um, and I just push out my range and what I can and can't get so definitely guys I'll see you on the next one uh, have fun playing and I'll see you soon it's your boy King Cayenne